Hi, welcome to Top Chef University. I'm Arian from Top Chef New York. Course number three is all about cooking techniques. These first three lessons cover the art of sautéing. Specialty sautéing is a technique used to pan cook food very quickly at a high heat to give it a golden crust while maintaining moisture. We'll take you through how to use this very quick method of cooking and with a few simple tricks it can be easy and very satisfying. We'll discuss how to choose the cut of meat, preparation, adding the correct amount of fat, and the best type of pan to use. Here we go. Sautéing is a fast method of cooking using high heat and a little bit of fat. It's one of my favorite ways of cooking because it's fast and easy. Being a busy mom, that's what I need. A couple of the tips we need to hit on when we're sautéing. Our equipment. It's very important to have a pan that has thick sides, which really will hold your heat in. Really important when it comes to sautéing, because we do, it's a high heat method, you need to really hold that heat in. You also need a wide surface. You do not want to overcrowd whatever it is you're sautéing. This creates steam, and that's a whole other technique we'll be learning down the road. Another great pan is a cast iron pan. Again, here, you have the thick sides, nice and even, distributes the heat, it'll cook the chicken, or sear your breasts and give it that golden crust that you're looking for. So those are the pans that you really want to have on hand. Next we're going to talk about our fat that we use when we are cooking. Since it is a high heat method of cooking, we really need to have some oils or fats that are going to hold up to that temperature. We have olive oil, clarified butter, and whole butter. I like to use the olive oil. It really it gives great flavor and it can really take on that heat. Clarified butter as well. Sometimes we don't have time to make it, but if you have it, what it is, it's the butter with the fat solids removed. So you have the butter flavor and you can use it because it doesn't have the solids that would burn. Then we have the whole butter. I like to actually finish with the whole butter. The reason you do not want to start with cooking with whole butter, especially in this method, is because it cannot hold up to the temperature. It will just burn. That's when you see those black bits in the pan. Uh, they don't taste good. They don't look good. You don't want that. So finishing it at the end is a really nice touch and it just adds that richness to the dish. Now we have our chicken. These are two gorgeous breasts. You see how they're even? The thickness, that's what you need. That's what you want. When you're getting ready to saute, they'll cook evenly. You won't have one side cooking quicker and drying out before the other side does. So that's a really important thing that you need to remember. So now we're going to actually get started on searing, sauteing our chicken breasts. What I'm going to do is get the pan hot. While that's getting hot, it's very important to take a paper towel and dab any extra moisture on your chicken breasts. If there's moisture in your pan, what does that do? It creates steam. Steaming we do not want. That will not help in giving your chicken breast that golden crust that we're really, really looking for when it comes to sautéing. So now they're nice and dry. Now it's important to season them really, really well. A little fresh cracked black pepper on both sides. And I like to use a little kosher salt. The salt and the pepper actually help in creating that crust that we're looking for. So now our breasts are seasoned. Waiting for that pan to just get a little bit hotter. Let me just wash my hands a minute. I'm going to add olive oil, a little bit of olive oil couple tablespoons just to kind of coat the pan. So our pan is ready. There's smoke coming out of the pan. Not too much, but just enough that I know it's ready to go. Now very carefully you want to place your chicken breasts in the pan. You're working with hot fat now. It's very dangerous. So no rushing here. Take your time. We don't want you getting hurt. So in the pan they go. Now this is the important part, and I know it's tough for everybody. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. This is a great opportunity for you to clean up your, your prep area right now. So now, a lot of heat coming out of the pan. That's guaranteeing you that you're going to get that golden crust. You see, I haven't touched them at all. I'm letting them go. They're going to go for about four to five minutes on each side. These are pretty thick, these chicken breasts. So basically, we want to saute and do everything in one pan so we don't have to mess around. Done, we're done. One pan, done. 
Another thing with the saute pan, you see how the walls aren't high? If they were higher, it would actually be creating steam. And when we create steam, it creates liquid, which would add to almost starting to boil. And we don't want to boil our chicken. We want sauteing, high heat, nice crust. These are almost about ready to, uh, to turn over. Oh, and they look gorgeous. Gorgeous. So again, another about four or five minutes on the pan, and probably about maybe two or three more minutes into it, I'm gonna throw the butter in. And this butter will distribute and give the chicken breast some really great, great flavor. You see our pan is not overcrowded. This really helps give you that heat that you need continuously. Because if you had like six chicken breasts in here, the pan would not continue to stay as hot as it needs to be. We have about a minute left on the chicken breast, so I'm gonna go grab my plate. And we're also gonna get ready to add the butter. When I add the butter, I like to lower the heat just a little bit because again, we don't want the butter to burn, we just want it to get that rich flavor going on. So you'll see it'll start smoking. You can kind of just move it around. This way it gets all around. And actually what's, what's happening is here is we're creating almost like a crust on the saute pan. This is wonderful when your chicken comes out. You can actually make a sauce in this pan. We'll be deglazing. You could add a little chicken stock, a little white wine, and then you have a little sauce with the butter, the white wine, chicken stock. You pour over the chicken. Delicious and so simple. So now here we have it. Look at those gorgeous golden crusted chicken breasts. Sauteed to perfection. And there you have it. Remember, a solid metal pan on high heat with a bit of oil and you can saute just about anything. And also remember, when you're done sauteing, you can deglaze the pan for a delicious sauce. In the next lesson, we'll cover great ways to saute vegetables.